not a competition for the faint-hearted. Nor those light but slick cars. This area is part of the gauntlet, the most difficult part of the rhino charge that required the competitors to drive into and out of a gorge in this rocky, bushy and simply tough terrain. The monsters were well pimped up for the challenge and what a treat it was for spectators. And I take my hat off to the competitors. I've been in rough terrain before but this is good fun. Maybe I'll do it next year. Sounds like fun. Are you enjoying it yourself? I am, yes, definitely. How has it been so far? It's been very exciting. It's fun to watch the teams do all of the various terrain. The giant hill just right over here was very impressive. I am supporting team number that seven, that is Kanyari the driver. And we've been in this event for more than 20 years. And we've been champions for about six years, including the quattro charge. And so what are your prospects for the day? We hope for the best. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, great. The Rhino Charge was started in 1989 with the aim of raising funds for environmental conservation. But for the many fans who are here today and who follow Rhino Charge every year, this is a time to come and spectate, to have fun and feel the excitement. And after a day of racing in the wild, the winner was car number five. The competition raised more than $1.2 million to help conserve water towers in Kenya. Ansoi, BBC News, Isiolo.